the Sri Lankan youth should be encouraged in employment opportunities in the merchant shipping sector for which the government is implanting a dedicated program, says Ports, Shipping and Aviation Minister Nimal Sirapala da Silva. The minister stated this at a special function organized by the Merchant Shipping Secretariat as the regulatory body of Sri Lanka's merchant shipping industry, to mark the 2022 World Maritime Day. The minister also handed over merchant shipping continuous discharge certificates to 20 trained young seafarers at the function held at the BMICH to mark the event. Today we had an opportunity to discuss the challenges and the way forward in the maritime field and how Sri Lanka could be a maritime hub in the Indian Ocean. Though we are geographically in an advantage situation, we can't expect the ships to come here and contribute to our economy merely by the fact that we are in a geographically located situation. Speaking further, the minister said that an attitudinal change of the youth was a must to be sustainably prevail in the sector which had achieved world recognition as a reputable and respectable sector. Considering the geographical location of Sri Lanka, there is ample opportunity to make the shipping industry the main entrepreneurial base of this country. However, we are in need of more and more talented young blood in this sector who are also rich with both knowledge and attitudes, the minister said. Development of ports and infrastructure is a responsibility of the government and there should be in-depth discussion on ways and means of earning foreign exchange through such process, he said. No matter how much training we offer, it is essential that these young trainees eventually get hands-on training with ships. For such, we need the immense assistance of shipping lines and their agents. We should have a formal program to effectively resolve this matter, at present. As long as this is not the case, the youth of this country will not be able to achieve high results in this sector. Therefore, as the subject minister, I have decided to have direct discussions with ship owners in person to draw their assistance towards this worthy cause and to encourage every ship calling our ports to recruit at least 10 young people on board for training. The minister further said that making such process a success to a certain extent, would definitely help mitigate the present economic crisis faced by Sri Lanka to bring some relief to resolve the issues. He also emphasized the need for a suitable social insurance mechanism to help with the young Sri Lankan seafarer. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.